Equites Romani were one of the highest social classes in ancient Rome, consisting of nobles who had significant wealth and social status. The history of the Roman Equites began in the early 5th century BC when the people of Rome started forming an army composed of wealthy and influential individuals to defend their country. Initially, the Equites Romani consisted of private horses owned by noble members, which were used to transport them in war and for quick attacks on the battlefield. However, as Rome's military and political developments progressed, the Equites Romani became a more organized and professional force. By the 3rd century BC, the Equites Romani had become an integral part of Rome's regular army and consisted of professionally trained cavalry soldiers. They were usually composed of wealthy and influential individuals and often served as cavalry in battles. During the Roman Republic period, the Equites Romani often played a significant role in Roman politics, and they had a considerable influence in the selection of public officials and national policies. However, in the end, their political power was replaced by the senatorial class, and they focused again on military duties. The Equites Romani played a crucial role in many epic battles throughout the history of ancient Rome. Here are some examples of epic wars where the Equites Romani played an important role. Battle of Cannae, 216 BC In this battle, the Roman army led by consuls Lucius Emilius Paulus and Gaius Terentius Varro was defeated by the Carthaginian army led by Hannibal. The Equites Romani served as cavalry on the Roman side, and although they fought hard, they could not prevent the crushing defeat suffered by the Roman army. Battle of Zama, 202 BC This was the final battle in the Second Punic War between Rome and Carthage. The Equites Romani played a crucial role in Rome's victory under the leadership of Scipio Africanus. They served as cavalry and successfully defeated the powerful Carthaginian cavalry, paving the way for Roman victory. Battle of Cary, 53 BC The Roman army led by Marcus Licinius Crassus was defeated by the Parthian army led by Serena. The Equites Romani served as cavalry on the Roman side, but they could not prevent the crushing defeat suffered by the Roman army. Many of them died in this battle. Battle of Adrianople, 378 AD The Roman army led by Emperor Valens was defeated by the Gothic army led by Fritigern. The Equites Romani served as cavalry on the Roman side, but they also could not prevent the crushing defeat suffered by the Roman army. Emperor Valens himself was killed in this battle. The Equites Romani gradually disappeared after the fall of the Roman Empire in the 5th century. Although they continued to fight in some battles during that time, their power had declined, and they were no longer a significant military force. After the fall of the Roman Empire, many Roman armies were disbanded or taken over by invading peoples who attacked Roman territories. The same thing happened to the Equites Romani. Many of the noble members who formed this army fled to the eastern territories of the Roman Empire, and some even joined the Byzantine army, which became the successor of the Roman Empire. However, in the end, the Equites Romani completely disappeared and no longer became a significant military force in history. Nevertheless, their legacy remained, and their success in battles remained an important part of Roman military history. Moreover, their political and economic influence during the Roman Republic period can still be seen in the policies adopted by the Roman state.